Testing. One, two, three. Stand by. Hang on. Let me focus. One, two, three. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay. Here we go. My name is Lisa Corey. I am a 26-year-old journalist from freezing Buffalo, New York, and the story of how my family made Buffalo home starts right here on the street at that house. My dad's parents moved to this house when they came here from Lebanon in the 1970s, and my grandmother had 11 kids. Oh, the best cook ever. I'm proud of my mom. I'm so proud. This was the best mom ever. <laughs> Eventually, 49 grandkids, I'm one of them, and she used to feed us every single day. Food was everything to Tete Lulu. She came to America and she couldn't speak English, but I'll tell you what, she spoke to her neighbors through food. In the basement of this house, she would bake flatbread or pita bread uh, for her family. She used to give the neighbor bread, then every time she baked, they come over. They could smell it like from five houses and down. No. And they would come in, they want to taste whatever she had. <laughs> yes, she, was, she loved to feed people. Eventually, that became a business, and she started selling pita bread across Western New York. My grandparents are no longer with us. Tete Lulu passed away almost two years ago now. Oh, my Tete, our grandma, legend. Um, I miss her smell, the flower on her dress. She has a good heart. She's a very, very, uh, what do you call it? Karima? Generous. Generous. My grandma was always the central figure. It was not just her food, it was her personality. She was loving, she was generous. Always treat people with respect. Everybody had a seat in her house. The house was never closed. And everybody liked uh, her recipe. So we thought it was a good idea to start a bakery, a pita bread bakery in Buffalo, based on what my mother-in-law was doing. And all those people that wanted to pay a fortune for her flatbread, so we thought that's a, you know that might be a good idea to go into that kind of business. Yeah. And guess what? My cousins are still connecting with the Buffalo community by sharing their culture through Lebanese food with Western New York. My name is Andrew. And my name is James, and we're taking over our father's bakery. I was born, I grew up, and there was pita bread. There was a bakery, <laughs> and it was there. That's just my whole life. I fell in love with baking pita bread, working with the equipment. It was just a point of pride. And he liked he liked eating the bread too. And it had fresh bread anytime we <laughs> When you go somewhere and you see people enjoying something that's coming from from your father or your mother or your grandmother, I really appreciate it. People come to me and say, you know, can you make me the flatbread like your like your grandma Lulu used to make? That's that, that's my connection with her. Uh, her, my mom, and me. That is what? This guy, this guy, you really got emotional? Everybody's gonna eat good. Everybody's gonna be taken care of. And that's part of my grandma's legacy as well. We love to feed people, whether it's at the restaurant or at our house, it doesn't matter. It's all the same. I feel like that I'm definitely you know, living in the image of my grandparents, my grandma and my, grand, my grandpa, and my parents, and trying to live my life and operate my business the way, the, the way they would be proud of. I went to elementary school in Orchard Park, and I remember I brought a, a La Floof, or a roll-up. Nobody knew what I was eating, so it was kind of funny, and they all started laughing at it, but I enjoyed it. As you grow and you know, some kids are, hey, my mom actually likes your pita bread. And you see a friend of yours, her mom's, his mom's purchasing your uh, bread from your parents. Oh, that, that's really cool. Now it's come full circle. We're selling pita bread to schools. 
staying in Buffalo and um, using your talent to better your your community, where you grew up, where you were raised, where you were educated, is very important. To take all that talent or take whatever it is you offer and move it to a different city is, that's not for me. I'm so proud of you, Yate. That's what she would say, and I know and I feel it. She's around us all the time, she doesn't leave us, and we are truly blessed we have an angel with us at all times. I'm excited to one day have kids, hopefully to raise them here. I love my Teta Lulu and the legacy she left behind, and I think my cousins and I are proud to continue being Lebanese, but also to continue making Buffalo our home.